Hey, Buzzheads, welcome to the 70s Buzz Podcast. I'm Curtis Tucker. And I'm Todd Wheeler, bringing you our memories, or lack thereof, of growing up in the 70s. We are not a history podcast. We just want you guys to know that. Sometimes we get things wrong, and if you listen to us long enough, you're going to be screaming at your device trying to give us the right answers. Listen up as we recount growing up in the Midwest and our unique experience. Go to 70sbuzz.com for more info and leave us your thoughts. Let us know if you guys have any show ideas, if you'd like us to uh, get you on as an advertiser. And don't forget, please leave us reviews on your favorite podcasting apps. Got to be somebody out there. We need somebody to hop on and uh, tell us how we sound. Uh, Kathy Hurst, Rule Linton Felter, Patrick Warren. Hey, Patrick. Uh, joined at quite possibly the strangest moment. Oh. Well, it's a little strange around here. So Patrick's. Oh, it sounds good. Okay, we're we're using some new microphones. We'll see how those go with uh, Facebook Live. Oh, sounds good. Sounds great. Cool. Good. <laughs> We never know around here. I'm just not seeing any comments. I don't know where. Oh yeah. I don't know where I'm supposed to see them at. So. What's everybody doing? Merry Christmas! Oh, there they are. Okay. Merry Christmas, everybody. Greg Gulick sounds good. Hey, Greggy. Hey, Greg. Hey, Kurt. Kurt Trini's on. Hey, Kurt. Trinary. Trinary. Not Trini. Trinary. 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 He's probably like me. I don't care what you call me as long as you call me at supper time. There you go. Yeah, so this so this is basically kind of our uh, holiday, our Christmas. Uh, our, yeah, basically our yeah. We should have had uh, Santa suits on and all kinds of stuff. But in the spirit of uh, well, we'll get to that in a sec. Here we got it. We got to do some how some house house cleaning. Is that what we say? That's what, I don't know why. Why do you call it that? By the way, I don't know. I can hear you now, but your lips aren't moving. <laughs> Sound now gone as I type. Or it's a ventriloquist thing. That, that sounds like an issue on their end. Oh, uh, but let's make sure. Can you guys? <laughs> can you guys still hear us? Can you still hear us? If you guys are checking in on the podcast and not watching Facebook Live, we apologize for all of the sound checks. But uh, don't forget, you got the phone number. Don't forget to call us at five eight zero five four one three. 805. <laughs> you got it. Uh, email us at buzz at buzzheadmedia.com and uh, you can hear us. Okay, good. Go to iTunes and leave a review like 70s lover from Canada did. Gave us five stars for the last episode called Carpenters. They said, greatest episode on the greatest podcast. Thank you very much. And they said that Andy Williams would be the Mr. Christmas of the 70s. Yeah. Okay, so Kurt's got a quick question before I move on. Uh, the tree. Okay, so our 140-foot Christmas tree, the largest, tallest... Fresh cut. Fresh cut Christmas tree in the world? In the world. 27-foot um, of it blew off. Wow. Broke. It just dangled. They cut off a little bit in the middle and put it back up. Unfortunately... It, they didn't get all the lights back on the top to work yet, so. But but they put a star on top. They did add a star, yeah. so it's still worth coming to see. If oh, you guys uh, are wanting to come see the world's uh, tallest Christmas tree, fresh cut, come to Enid, and you can still see it. Yeah. So, very. Although, very cool. so if you guys don't know, we live in Oklahoma, and okay. tomorrow is like. 45 to 50 mile an hour gust. It's supposed to be, it could be record breaking for Kansas, they're saying, as far as yeah. winds tomorrow. So we'll see. Ho alert. Hopefully the tree holds up. Skirt alert. So. Yeah, so I got family coming in. Luckily they saw the pictures before the, the danglage, but. Yeah. It's still cool. It's still very cool. You can tell though, it, 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 it suffered a little bit. Yeah. It's still very cool. 
yeah. So anyway, come see it if you got and and then we got the ice skating rink and they've got singing and all kinds of cool dancing and stuff going on. Pretty much every night there's some event going on. So yeah. uh, don't be scared. Don't be scared to come to Enid. Come check it out. Yes, yes. Uh, we also Richard Cuevas. He sent two emails. Hi, Richard. And one of them was after the, uh, I don't know which episode it was, but he was talking about uh, that he has the Warriors poster. And he also has the King Kong 76 poster. Oh, and the funny thing about Warriors is some channel had it on the other day, and I wasn't going to be able to watch it, so I DVR'd it. And now that I've got it DVR'd, I've, it's, I say that I've watched it three times in the last couple of weeks, but... It's been on, and I've listened to it because I like the soundtrack so well. And, of course, I don't have my vinyl soundtrack anymore. So. Oh, yeah. So, anyway, so I get to listen to The Warriors by just turning the DVR on. So, apparently, you're getting different comments than I am because I see comments coming up. I do, too, and I'm not seeing them, though, huh. on, on, my, on this. So That's weird. What if, just popped up there? If we met, those, are, those say that somebody's oh. news watching. No, that's just, it's Kurt's. Yeah, he must have. Yeah. So anyway, if uh, if we don't respond to your comment, sometimes I don't know that we see them all. Yeah. I apologize. But and we if we love you all, long time. We love you long time. And if you're uh, listening on the podcast, um, we love you too long time. We love you too long time. <laughs> and we got no phone call from Dave. So Dave. Uh, well, I think Dave died. So instead of answering Dave's questions. <laughs> We're going to answer Richard's questions. Richard Quivis? So Richard asked, um, did we live close enough to the high school to walk? No. No, neither one of us. No. Well, and, you could, but why would you? And in high school, pretty early into high school, we got cars. And yeah. so, yeah, yeah. Um, that was not a thing to walk to high school. And then junior high, you lived literally... Three blocks from junior high. Yeah, I mean... Not even three blocks when you think about if you went to the end of the right. the oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. the football field, you were just you could throw a rock almost from the end of the football yeah. field to Todd's house. I could so. walk out my front door and see my junior high very easily, easily, which came in handy because sometimes I'd I'd go home for lunch. Yeah. Yeah. Or if the bullies were chasing me, <laughs> pew, <laughs> pew. <laughs> That looks pretty cool, isn't it? Or like, pew. If somebody said, meet me by the bike racks, Todd was like, pew, yeah. gone. Yeah. Um, and then Richard also uh, sent me some pictures of his Kiss binder. Mm. And spiral. The spiral notebook. The spiral binder. Not and a then, binder, it was a spiral notebook. A spiral notebook. The binders were the thing that you could open and close. From the 70s. Yeah. Right. And he still got it. Yeah. And it's got his um, Kiss Army card taped in it. Ah. That's pretty cool. Okay, so you, so you don't remember using those, and uh, were you a member of the Kiss Army? No, I never did. Okay, I, I wasn't why. either. I don't know why. So you remember, like, the teachers would get mad if you turned in assignments with those, and you, and you ripped pull it, out, ripped it out. And there's all that fraying. On oh the yeah. Side. And then at one point, somebody got smart and did like a perforation thing. Yeah, so but that was like years later, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah. Yeah, teachers. I know some teachers wouldn't take them. Oh yeah. Which is just ridiculous, but whatever. They were kind of messy. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Do you remember the different colored paper? Like there was purple paper. Oh, yeah. And green paper. There's purple, green, and like a pinkish red. Yeah. And I think a yellow. I forgot. I just, just remembered that. Yeah. I kind of, I, I had forgotten about that. And who was talking about cleaning records? Was that? Kurt. Was that no, Kurt? Richard. Richard. Richard? Yeah. Yeah. Richard was talking about uh, cleaning his album. And I totally forgot about cleaning albums. You got that little... Like it's like a little brick, not a brick, but yeah, kind of like a yeah, and little it, pad. And you'd, it like felt, and you'd you would run on the turntable and you spray it. stuff on it. I totally forgot about that. Too. Jerome checked in. Hey, Jerome, thanks for checking in. Yeah, and My so it's just froze. Well, I know mine did too, and now they're Paul Baker joined in. Now they're starting to go, but I don't see any comments. Is anybody? Are you guys commenting? I'm not seeing. Um, but anyway, but uh, so Richard also sent a picture of his. Perry Como album that his mom would play every yeah. Christmas. And so that's, uh, and he, so two people um, contacted us because we'd asked the question about the Carpenters and Karen Carpenter being the queen of Christmas. Yes. Two people stated, Kurt says yes, so I guess they're still out there. Um, two people said that Andy Williams would be Mr. 
Christmas of the 70s. Yeah. So let us know what you guys think about that. Or if you guys didn't contact us, who do you think, who who's your go-to Christmas music for, from the 70s? I always loved the Andy Williams specials. Yeah. And he had that hot wife. Remember his hot wife? No, oh, Mrs. Williams. <laughs> <laughs> she was French. Oh, French, really? I don't and, really remember her. his oh, yeah. wife. And I'm almost, because I looked it up all ago. Remember when she got in trouble? Oh, no. Yeah, she got in trouble. Uh, okay, she was seeing like a ski instructor or something. She had an affair with a ski instructor or something like that. And he got shot. The ski instructor? Yes. By Andy? No. no. Well, maybe. Mm. 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 Could have been Hillary. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it was a big, a big, uh, oh, it was a big. And ever since then, Andy never did much Christmas stuff after that. Really? She was super hot. Uh, did they stay married? No. No. Oh. No, I don't think so. No. Because Andy, it was Andy Williams. Yeah. Andy was like, he was like super cool. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. I mean, I kind of remember his specials. Um, is it an open forum tonight or a topic? It's open forum, but we're ready for whatever topic whatever. you got, Kurt. You got something uh, going out there. Yeah. No, we're... We're, uh, we're looking for topics, but it'd be kind of cool if you guys have any. I've got a list of some of the most popular Christmas um, gifts in the 70s. But so oh, The Rock. Pet rock, pet, rock, pet rock, right up there at the top. But if you guys have some, uh, Mike Ritter, hey, Mike, one of our big Enid fans. We do actually have some big Enid fans, and Mike Ritter uh, is at the top. Yes. So, um, so uh, yeah, so if you have some topics, let us know. They don't have to be Christmas. And they don't necessarily have to be 70s since it's open forum. What do we? What's been happening? I mean, you know, we oh. we don't want to get too far back into football, but I don't know. Um, oh, the big tornadoes in Kentucky. That's terrible. Yeah, but as far as us, like, so my my Arkansas daughter and my OU daughter. OU played Arkansas in basketball last weekend in Tulsa, kind of a middle middle ground. So we drove over there. My oldest daughter at OU palmed. Unfortunately, Arkansas doesn't take big palm teams when they travel, so they only took four girls. So my youngest daughter did not get to palm, but we watched the game, and um, Arkansas was undefeated. <laughs> not now. OU had two losses, but OU in and uh, whooped them. So youngest daughter was not too happy. Sorry, but uh, So Rule says Osmonds on Andy Williams often. Oh, that's right. Now, did the Oddsmans have a Christmas, their own did, Christmas but, special? But they were they were all the time on there. I, yes. What about the Brady Bunch? Did they have a Christmas special in the seventies? Oh, sure I think everybody had specials back then, and we talked about that. They don't do Christmas specials anymore. We talked about that last week. Hey, Dave Thorpe. Hey, Kathleen. Dave Thorpe. Yeah. Dave Thorpe. David Thorpe from up in Kansas. <laughs> is he up in Kansas? Yeah, he is up in Kansas. Oh, hang on, it's gonna be windy tomorrow. It's gonna Dave. be windy tomorrow. Um, but yeah, they used to, you know. Christmas specials oh, yeah. were a big deal. Were well, big yeah, deal. everybody had a special. But nowadays, no, they're not so much. Yeah, TV's so diversified. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, Let us know, you guys watch any, are there any annual Christmas specials that are still going on that you guys watch? I don't think so. And what's your favorite Christmas shows? I mean, we might, we got to get this out of the way because we can't talk about it. This is our last chance. So what? Uh, yeah, I, thought, I thought Santa Claus was coming next week. Well, but that'll be on a recorded, not a live. Right. Yeah, so they can't they can't interact. interact. So let us know if you're watching on Facebook, like what your favorite uh, Christmas shows are. They don't necessarily have to be from the '70s, but, no. uh, um, but just to I let you know, you, they're going to be from the '70s. Oh yeah, because they don't they haven't done any since then. Yeah, um, Charlie Brown Christmas is coming up on PBS December 19th, so don't miss it. And you can watch it any time on Apple <laughs> Apple TV because Apple, if you guys. Hey, Kevin Peterson. Um, Kathleen says the Waltons. Yeah. The Waltons always had a good Christmas. Yeah, Walton, everything was good about the Waltons. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that was a good show. We got a whole episode about the Waltons. Hello, Shag, says Mike. Oh, that was one thing I was going to talk about. Uh, peanuts. Yeah, got to watch all the peanut specials. Um, I'm getting rid of that buzz guy mm -hmm. and going to Shag. Everything's going to be Shaggy Duck. Oh, that okay. So, that's the new logo, and that's the first sticker, and it's kind of a, it's kind of a, 
a uh, Dennis Crawford. Boy, our whole class is checking in. It's kind of a, what I want to say, metallic look. If you guys want a Shaggy Duck sticker. I don't do this. This is weird. Yeah, I know. It's opposite. Because to make things read correctly, you have to do everything opposite. Oh, okay. If you want one of these stickers for your car, I was confused. Leave leave your address in the comments, and I will. For the first fifty people, I will mail you a free Shaggy Duck sticker. Oh, it's like rainbowy. Yeah, it's it's like metallic. -y. Oh, that's cool. You, you yeah, can it's see that. It's very cool. I don't even have one. Todd Todd can get one. Hello, Kevin. Kevin says hello, gentlemen. So yeah, so if you'll just leave me your full address in the comments, anybody that leaves an address, I will mail. A sticker to that's your free Christmas gift <laughs> from us. Of course, you may not get it till Valentine's Day. But. Oh no, I'll get them out really quick. So, um, and hope by next year we'll have swag. Swag. Okay, so and so okay, well, so the like two weeks away. So the point of consolidating everything and changing everything is, if you go to Shaggy Duck, it now forwards to a page on CurtisTucker.com. If you go to Seventies Buzz it forwards to a page on curtisducker.com. And that way I can just, I've only got one theme, one website that I update, and you just click on a category. You don't have to read every every blog post, just read the ones you want. So anyway, uh, hey, Greg's the first, Greg gets the first one. He got his address in there, so. He did? Yeah, right. on mine anyway. So anyway, yeah, so again, real quick, and I'll, I'll do a reminder at the end. If you want a free Shaggy Duck, metallic-y looking sticker, just send me your, comment your address and I'll get it to you. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, what else is going on? Oh, well, what? I got my that list of, uh, I'm not going to be able to read comments, but you want me to read the list of uh, popular Christmas sure. presents in the 70s? Yeah, you and you guessed one. Uh, guess some more. See what else you think. Uh, so I guess Pest Rock, Pet Rock, that had to be up there. Yeah, it was up there. Uh, Slinkies. It now, and I don't know how they came up with this list, but um, Slinkies wasn't on the, this list, but uh, Slinkies... Um, Yo-Yo's. Not Yo-Yo's. Yo-Yo didn't make it. Uh, 70s. Uh, a game. Are there games on there? Actually, not like, no. Not like a board game, no. Here, I'll, re I'll read them off. Okay, Nerf Ball. So Nerf footballs were huge in the yeah. 70s. I remember getting a Nerf football oh, yeah. for Christmas. Oh, yeah. And then I remember, remember Nerf balls? We would play kill the man with the ball, and then after you played with them long enough and you threw them, they're, they're usually, there was usually ended up being like a hole in the Nerf ball, and then you'd like stick your fingers in it, and that helped you yeah. throw the ball, make the spot. Remember throwing spirals with the <laughs> Nerf football? Um, weebles? Weebles wobble, but they don't fall down. Did you ever have any weebles? No, I never did. Weebles. I think we were, I think we old. were too old for weebles in the seventies. Yeah. yeah. Uh, are you seeing any comments? Yeah. Susan, okay. Yeah, Suzanne, go. she she sent in a email. Mike Ritter sent in a, oh, our, good. Our address. Okay. She, good. She, yeah. Yeah. Um, how about skateboards? I got a I got a blue Grintech skateboard for Christmas in the seventies from Otasco. Yeah. Well. Oh yeah. He did. Todd's not a skateboarder. The good Lord did not intend for this child to have wheels on his feet. Todd did not get a skateboard. I, I could not. I tried. Um, I, I did, and I couldn't roller skate either. Oh, really? Kid. No, we. I dreaded those times when people have birthday parties at, at the skating rink. I was like, ah, oh, crap. I hugged the wall all the time. I just stood. I was kind of like Fonzie. I just stood there and looked cool. <laughs> Just, oh my! I well. How come I didn't know this? I guess I kind of knew you'd yeah, mentioned that before. before. I didn't know you didn't s now, roller skate. Later in life, I did get a pair of inline roller oh. blades, and those I th 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 okay. That kind of made more sense to me. Now, did you ice skate? Have you tried to ice skate? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, but it's a shuffle. I mean, I don't uh. get crazy. It's just like yeah, I just shuffle. Yeah, uh, and I didn't last year, and I probably won't this year because. It, it, you know, I can't break a hip, dude. Oh yeah, no. it's all over if I break a hip. But so here, here now, do you remember when I was dating that girl named Carrie, Carrie Wire? Yeah, kinda. Okay, so I had these inline roller skates. What do you call them? Uh, blade. Roller blades. Roller blades. Okay, and so we we decided to go downtown on a Sunday afternoon because it wasn't very busy and it had some hills. 
So I went over in that parking lot behind my old place, behind Philly's, uh -huh. and I got turned around, and I started going backwards, oh, and I couldn't stop, and she just laughed her butt off. And I couldn't stop. And I was like bending over. I was scraping my fingers on the asphalt trying to stop. And eventually, I think I just ran into the building backwards. Um, yeah, that wasn't fun. Yeah. But she loved it. Yeah. No, yeah. At the, I, now, I still skateboard. I've got two skateboards up here uh, on the shelf. And, uh, you know, I have not gotten the skateboard out on our uh, driveway. But so the new, the house that we moved back into has got like a y acre of concrete around it from all of our driveway and our circle drive. So it's a great uh, driveway to skateboard. Uh, Jason says mood ring, is mood ring on there? Mood ring's not on here, but that was big. That was, they were big. Pong the video game? Yes, Pong. Pong is on this list. That was big. Good call. Okay, let me ask you guys this, since you guys watch, or you watch this and you listen to the 70s Buzz podcast, and you, does is anybody else getting the evil Knievel stunt cycle ads as much as I am. You crank it up. You know, they're still selling it because I, I, I see the ad like three times a day. But I, I've seen it recently but, or in the past, but not recently. Okay, yeah. I mean, I just saw one today. Yeah, so. and they, 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 uh, uh, they'll they be like the toy and then they'll put in some real... Yeah, toys. yeah. They try to make it like... Now, did you have an evil Knievel when you were in the 70s? No, I think Mark did. See, I don't think I did either. I don't think I had one. I remember playing with one, but I don't remember having one. I think Mark did. It was a popular line of tiny toy bikes in 1973. Dave's alive. Hey, Dave. Um, Dave's alive. Dave's alive. Dave's alive. Dave's alive. We were worried about you, buddy. Um, now we knew you were alive. How about Magna Doodle? Remember Magna Doodle? Oh. It was kind of like a pad that you drew on. Uh, yeah. What about, ooh, 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 what about Light Bright? Uh, I think Light Bright. I thought Light Bright was on here, but yeah, but it's not on here. But yeah, Light Bright was popular. Yeah, yeah. I remember. How about Stretch Armstrong? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Staten had a. I think Staten got a Stretch Armstrong for Christmas. Crispy, um, crispy and velvet dolls. I don't remember those. They're not. They're not on this list. But Glenn, Glenn says crispy, and Suzanne says troll dolls. I had. Oh, a troll doll. I had troll. I had a troll. I had one troll. I doll. can't believe I don't have a. I gotta go get a troll doll. I can't believe I don't have a troll doll in the '70s studio. I had mine so long; his hair started coming out. And you can—they still sell those. Do they really? Yeah, yeah. I'll have they to get on. It? I think so. <laughs> I actually made a little outfit for mine. Oh, I, you did. <laughs> I felt bad for him because he was naked. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad you brought that up because yeah, I'm gonna tonight after the show. I'm going to order some trolls for uh, okay. troll dolls we'll for the next week for the studio. Yeah. You guys check it. Lincoln Logs. Oh, yeah. Love. Now, State, State had the Lincoln Logs. And, and Tinker Toys. And Tinker Toys. You almost had to have them both. You know, well, they did he didn't have right. Tinker Toys, but he had Lincoln Logs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Etch yeah. oh, yeah. okay. uh, a Sketch? Etch a Sketch. On this list, Micronauts. Did I you? Micronauts. That must have been late 70s. Yeah, it said before Transformers, there were Micronauts. Mega premiered. It's articulated action figures in 1976, but they were they had their moment in 1977. Hmm. Um, Star Wars toys, they're on this list. Yeah. Hi, Tina. Tina says hi. Tina hey, Tina. Know. So my the guy that I call my crazy uncle, he bought a bunch of the Star Wars toys and left them in the boxes, and I think they're still in the boxes today. Oh, really? And he's passed away, and I think his daughter... Uh, may still have them, so they could be worth some money. So Kurt says, I had the Evil Knievel bike with the rip cord, and I fired it up and stuck the rear wheel in my niece's hair. Ow! Ow! Ow. Oh! Very oh. cool. Thanks, Uncle Kurt. <laughs> How about the Mattel electronic football? I did get the Mattel electronic football for Christmas. I think man. Yeah. I never had one of those. I never had... I, I, uh, it was... I can't believe... It but. Kind of, it's kind of silly. But you got to remember, though, in the 70s, that was like high tech. I mean, that was for yeah. as, as boring as it is thinking about it now. Back then, I guess it was pretty boring, but yeah. it was something to do. Because, I mean, what else did we have to do? Now, I remember one Christmas. This would have been in the later 70s when the Mattel football game came out. Uh -huh. And it was just a little screen, and you, you operated a little The dash. little dash, yeah. Yeah, and you were trying to get... I mean, we played those. Oh yeah. For hours. And hours. Oh yeah. Oh, that was high tech. That would have been after Pong, even though. Oh yeah. But it was handheld. That was the cool. It thing. was handheld. Hand yeah. That was the cool thing. Yeah. 
How about the Simon and the speak and spell? Remember Simon? Didn't, isn't that what Goodson had? What was that red thing that oh, Goodson had? Yeah. Was that a Simon? Yeah, yeah. Or was a Simon, Simon was a thing that looked like a spaceship and had the different colors and it would, a different color oh, would light it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. At the 40, you, had to, you had to follow it. Yeah, what was the red thing that Alan had? Merlin. Merlin, Merlin. yeah. Merlin. So anyway, that's, that's the list that uh, I had gotten off uh, the internet of some of the top. Toys from the 1970s. Yeah, Jason talks about macrame. Uh, Dave's a Tonka truck. Yeah, I actually have two Tonka dump trucks in my in my den right now. One was uh, mine when I was little, and then one was my oldest son, who's now 41. Yeah, my oldest son's 41. Holy moly! And I got his, and they're sitting right next to each other on the on the hearth by the fireplace. Did you ask Dave why he didn't call in? Uh, Magic eight ball. Uh, I. I, th I think I had a magic eight ball. Dave, Dave said, I used to whip my sister with my Hot Wheels track. <laughs> you know the Hot Wheels track? I used to whip? Whip. Oh, yeah. Well, I, I think I whipped my sister with a Hot Wheels track, actually, now that I you mentioned that. Sisters. I wouldn't do You guys are mean to your sisters. Oh. Greg says he was a Mattel toy tester from 1970 until he moved in 74. Greg, good? For real? Wait what? Wait what? what? Tabletop football game that was magnetic. I never had that one. That's, magnetic. That sounds kind of cool. Magnetic. Wonder how that worked exactly. With magnets. Uh, water beds. Oh yeah, everybody had a water bed back then. Oh yeah. Those things yeah. are terrible for your back. But it's like the, the motion of the ocean. But in the seventies, Curtis didn't know. No, no waterbed. Remember Goodson? Um, didn't his parents have like a, you know how there was the regular waterbed? Uh -huh. And then his parents like had like a, it looked like a mattress, but it was a waterbed. It didn't like have the wooden frame around it. It was oh, kind of. Like, the sides were like, not, it was like a waterbed in the middle or something. Yeah, it was, I don't know. It was kind of like a different kind of waterbed. Uh -huh. Incredible edibles. Incredible edibles. Is that like edible underwear? <laughs> I do remember that. From I don't. The 70s. I don't remember incredible edibles. You, but, re uh, you remember? You know. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Edible underwear. Oh yeah. I ate them all the time. Uh, I, crack, I crack us up. You guys are missing out no, on so crack, much if you're just listening to your podcast. Yeah. yeah. Go go to the, if you're listening to the podcast. Uh, <laughs> immediately go to the nearest uh, Facebook app and and watch oh, this on Facebook. I so. I lost my thingy. What do we got? What, uh, I was gonna, did I uh, come up with any? I don't think I came up with anything. I was going to try to find something from the 70s, to, but I guess I don't. Uh, if you guys have just joined in, I'm going to do a couple of reminders. Uh, leave your address in the comments, and I will send you a new Shaggy Duck sticker. And then uh, we got all kinds of stuff coming up. So um, Somebody asked, uh, oh, that was it. What? It was that review I didn't write down. No, I did. Somebody asked about the... What was that at? Somebody e messaged and, and said that they were looking forward to my book. Oh, I didn't hear what that. What was that at? I want you guys to see something. This is, this is, this is Curtis's. Well, only because all of that information is on the phone that we're using for the live, and I can't. He, he actually has pen and paper in his studio. Oh, yeah. No, I use it all the time. Dave says, I forgot to leave a message last night. That's right, buddy. As long as you're okay, that's all, that's all we care about. You got worried there. But we did see you posting pictures of the, your Christmas tree. Yeah. Uh, so uh, which one of you decorated the Christmas tree? That's yeah. what I want to know. Yeah. Uh, I guess it be. Sharon, we've got, I guarantee you we've got like half our class from 1981 watching right now. Cool. Uh, which was cool. 1981 was cool. But wouldn't it have been a cooler if we had graduated like in 1971? Yeah. And why would that have been so much better, Mr. Wheeler? Because that, that was, was the greatest, greatest decade known, known to man. man. Yes, it was. I oh, well, Dave, we didn't want to forget since Dave forgot. <laughs> Come on, Dave, you're slipping. Did we do that on our last live? I don't. I, I was wondering that today. I'm like, do we do that during the lives? I don't. I don't think we do all the time. Uh, Hey, uh, and that reminds me, the other night I was uh, cruising through uh, the Pandora? Spotify. Spotify. You were cruising through Spotify. Spotify, and I came across another lady. Her name's Amy Lively. She's got a podcast called 
for the record. And she, yeah, she reviews. Basically, it's albums, but she does a uh, uh, politics and stuff, and we don't we don't do politics and stuff. But um, you know, you might go check her out. Um, and and if you do, send her a message and tell her we told you to go see her because you know we're trying to be podcast family type stuff. Gilbo, let's see that pick a color, pick a number thing. You would make paper operate. Yeah, I what did, were those? I think only girls could make those. What were those called? I don't know, but you did this, you'll. Yeah, and then you'd say pick a number, and you'd open it up, and then you'd pick a color. And I never understood that. I did good to fold. Okay, remember when we passed notes? Yeah, and they had that weird little fold. Fold. I did good if I could get one of those two, and I actually did that recently. Did I tell you that? Oh, I was gonna say I actually made one of those. I got online to figure out how to make one of those, but it was it's probably been two years ago. Yeah, no, yeah, you told me. And you sent that to somebody, didn't you? Hmm. Anyway. And th- that person doesn't even check in anymore. Anyway. Anyway. The, the, the that shall be nameless. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. It got hot in here all of a sudden. It is getting hot in here. Do I need to open the door? It's getting hot in here. So, J- so Jason Gilbo, who is on the show now, is uh, was one of the gang there on West Broadway. He's a West Broadway boy. That played uh, all those games for all of those summer nights. I'm, I'm checking messages on here. It keeps popping up that Kurt Tr- Trenary's watching. Yeah, I know. I, maybe he's get, maybe his... He's his, getting knocked off and knocked back on or something. I don't Yeah. Fortune tellers. Fortune tellers. Is that what they were called? Uh, yeah, but not, it seems like they had another name though. But was that what they were? Maybe that's what they were called, fortune tellers. <laughs> Kurt Kurt gives Dave a hard time. He says, "Good job, Dave, for falling down not on the job. job." Hey, at least he calls in. You guys need to call in like like Dave does. Anybody seen Christopher Todd yet? Has he chimed in? Uh, He's probably jamming. Somewhere. I told him the other day he needs to start his own podcast or blog. Uh, talk about all the his uh, music and he should absolutely all that stuff. So he's yeah. kind of the the music guy around the seventies buzz podcast parts. Yeah. Ooh, my son says he's going to do one too. Oh yeah. About gay aliens. So we'll see. We'll, we'll keep works. you guys updated we'll, on that one. We'll see how that works out. No, I, no, no, no. He's gay. He talks about aliens. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> um, we have had an offer uh, for an advertiser. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to mention it because they haven't paid us yet. Oh, so yeah, I just almost. I know. I, 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 I knew you were headed there. So <laughs> we're going to check it out. And it would be like an advertisement. It'd be like a one-time advertisement. We just talk about it one show and then use the product maybe one time. And then so it wouldn't be like a... So, but, but if it works, it, yeah, if, if it, it works, it'd be kind of cool. If we could figure out what, we're, we're just not quite sure what, how it works but or what whole, it is. You know, podcasting, now that podcasting is, is becoming really kind of uh, mainstream and stuff, all this cool stuff is coming in, these apps and, 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 and devices, yeah, we're in devices. Uh, so it's kind of uh, evolving. Oh yeah. It's going to, it's, it's podcasting keeps growing and, yeah. And I mean, we super duper appreciate, all, especially you regulars that check in all the time. Because, man, I go through a ton of podcasts trying to find a new one. Because mm-hmm. the thing about podcast is, if you're a diehard podcast listener like I am, you run out of episodes because as soon as a new episode comes out, you hear it. It's like it's like uh, Yellowstone. You know, you guys all. I don't watch Yellowstone, but you guys that do. Every time the episode's over, you're ready for the next one. Well, that's what happens with podcasting. And so you've got to try to find enough podcasts to fill all of your spots for the week until the it starts over again. And there's a lot of bad podcasts out there. Yeah. I mean, it is it is it gets tough sometimes to find a good podcast. Dave just says uh, everyone and their uncle has a podcast. Yeah. And he's so bored with podcasts. Well, you know, you need more of those. Just make sure you hang out with us. Steve Voss is on. Hey, Steve. Hey, Steve. Another uh, 81 graduate. I can't even, I don't even know how many we've got from our class on uh, here. Dave wants to know, where did you guys go sledding when you were a kid? No mountains in Oklahoma. Well, that didn't stop us from sledding now, Mr. Dave. Now, so we had a place called the Overpass. And so the uh, North Van Buren Overpass, we have, Enid has a lot of trains. And there's this one area where there's a lot of tracks. And so to, to not have to drive over the tracks, they built an overpass, a bridge. 
and built up the dirt. And that's, that was the, that was probably the number one spot everybody in town would go yeah. sledding. But then after the 73 flood, they built this huge ditch through town. And then that would be your second spot. The problem with that is if there was water in the bottom, you kind of had to yeah. watch out when you got to the bottom. Or it would accumulate trash. Yeah, yeah. So, so really, the uh, the uh, North Van Buren overpass was the. I mean, I remember as a kid. Well, maybe not even a kid. Maybe in the eighties. I mean, there'd be a hundred, hundred yeah. people or more on that yeah. hill all so at the you, same time. You'd have to trek up to the top, and the people would go down on cardboard. Oh, and you'd you'd literally have to wait in line, um, oh, yeah. and to to go yeah. down. So, and, and the 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 west side was better than the east side. I don't know why. Never, never went down on the east side. Yeah. I don't yeah. Uh, Dennis Crawford. Hey, Dennis. He says, uh, Rock'em Sock'em Robots. Oh, yeah. That was on a list that I saw. Rock'em Sock'em. Yeah. Oh, cool. cool. Uh, hey, Michelle. Hello, Mrs. Petty John. Oh, Mrs. Petty John's on. Love you guys a long time. Oh, he was text me the other day. Oh, he did? Yeah. He was cracking up on one of our podcasts. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. I think I think it must have been uh, like the Carpenter's one. He was uh, listening to us on the way to... Uh, Houston? Why the heck was he going to Houston? His son. That's where Austin lives. Oh. Okay. They were probably going down to see the grandkid. Oh. So. I think I said it now. Kim Ford, did you already say hi to Kim and Tina, I guess, Spirograph? Kim. Kim. Kim, Kim Ford? No, I didn't. Sorry, Kim. Hi. Um, What's up, Tina? Kim Ford says case. What's that? Case what? I'm not sure. Um, case. 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 Sarah, Sarah? Well, I'm sure we asked or said something, and now we've forgotten. What? That what? Maybe, forget something? That was maybe an answer. I don't. I don't know. Uh, Dave listens to audiobooks. Hey, I've done that a couple. Yeah, times. I, I, I will have to say, and I think I've already said it, is uh, Matthew McConaughey's book Green Lights. Um, I highly recommend it, but I do not recommend you read it. You, if you're gonna get the information, um, listen to it. Because he 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 talks he he does and he, he not only did he write it he narrates it he inflects I mean and adds a little bit to it it's really great so sorry Mike Dave wants it's Dave I got to have your address so my daughter in law keeps texting oh so uh, here's the sticker again um, we're gonna have lots of stuff to give away but this will be the I will send you a free sticker just give me your address now the thing about audio books that I don't know maybe maybe it's just me. What's why? Why am I hearing something? It's some, I, I don't have this all the way down. Oh, uh, on audiobooks, I kind of, I kind of feel guilty when I listen to them because I'm like, okay, did you read this book? No, but I listened to it. It's like I feel guilty because I didn't actually take the time. To read yeah, because people ask me when's the last time you read a book, and I'll be like, I you know, eight hundred years ago, but I listened to one last week. So, yeah, so so I didn't I didn't read that book. I listened to that book. Yeah. Is that what you say? Is that yeah, what yeah. So the last book, the last book I listened to was Green Lights, and and I highly, highly recommend it. It's a fun, it's a fun book to listen to. Tina says those games with water, and you push the button to oh, get yeah. the rings to float yeah. up and land yeah. on the little knobs. Yeah, like, oh yeah, like, I forgot about those. Yeah. What were those things? Yeah, those she, were cool. She calls them. Wonderful waterfalls or something. Yeah, I forgot all about those things. See, that's what I like about this show. You guys mentioned stuff I completely forgot about. Yeah. Did we tell you guys we're going to have a uh, a famale on the show every once in a while? Yeah. Uh, Renee. Some of you may know Renee Settlemeyer. Yep. Um, she's going to so be. She actually went to school. She's two years. Probably she class of seventy nine, possibly seventy eight. Yeah, and I asked my sister, did she go so? So Cindy graduated in 77, so she's right between us and my sister, my next sister. Uh, uh, and I'm trying, her, what was her maiden name? Um, 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 Renee. Um, I'll think of it here in a minute. Okay, um, yeah, so anyway, she, she has volunteered to be uh, a female on the show every now and then, so. It'll be nice, which is, which is funny because. Curtis was doing, he was doing some research the other day, and he found out that, believe it or not, most of our listeners... Well, the biggest category, the top category was females 54 to 65 or something. Yeah. So... So, we have a lot of female listeners, but... Thanks, Tina. She's got to go. Appreciate you checking in. Love you, too, Tina. 
Mr. Bubble, Bubble Bath. Oh, oh yeah, that you was see. A treat when you got Mr. Bubble. Bath. Well, now I told you, and you guys, I've told you guys, when we lived on the house on Grant, it didn't have a shower. Right. So I had to take a bath. So yeah, I think I had uh, yeah some Mr. Bubble Bath there. I was used too much though. So. Oh yeah, and I, and then when I didn't have Mr. Bubble Bath, I think I would pour a lot of um, shampoo. And you get, did you ever do this? Pour a little bit of shampoo in the water and you, you put your hand like that really fast. Oh, yeah. And I mean, the bubbles would just. No. Have you ever had a, a whirlpool tub? No. Okay. Do not use a oh, no. bubble bath in your whirlpool tub because it will overflow. It will go everywhere. A uh, cap full will just go everywhere. Yeah. No. Uh, Dave asked about my holiday decorating. Okay. I did get my pineapple lights in the kitchen. And they are right side up. Um, but uh, with my uncle being um, sick over in Tulsa, I've lost four or five days. Uh, so a lot of the projects aren't getting down at my house. I will get a tree, although I was just informed this evening by Mr. Tucker that the tree guy that I was going to here in town is gone. He left yesterday. So I... I gotta... it looks like it might be Lowe's for Todd. <laughs> yes, anyway, so anyway... Uh, Sun in. Oh, sun in. Oh, yeah. The hair lightener. Yeah, my sister used that all the time. My sister was one of those 70s girls that put the sun in in her hair and then laid out and put the baby oil, oil. all over her body and then got the reflector and put it under her chin. So you wouldn't have a white spot under there? Yeah, and uh, just baked herself. <laughs> And, and then she would, like, wake up the next day and, like, have third-degree burns. I mean, I remember her just being burned, you know, time after time after time. So, always, always fun in the 70s. We didn't take quite as good of care of ourselves. Yeah, yeah. But. But we made it. We didn't know. Who knew? Uh, so, so, I'm doing some commercials for uh, Vicky who you've gone to for some stuff, chiropractor. But she also has these other oh, things yeah, that she does. That. And so Frank... What are you doing to you? No, that's Frank, not me. I'm just oh. filming. I'm oh. not... So Frank... So so because we didn't wear sunscreen and take care of ourselves and we were always out playing in the 70s, um, a lot of us are going to end up with those little brown spots. Oh, H-spots. H-spots. And so she, she's got a laser and she can laser those H-spots off. Oh, yeah. So yeah. she's... So we're doing a video when she, Frank, a guy that I work with, he, he works, he does some sales for me. Um, we're putting him through it and she's wanting to give me the pee shot. And I said, I'm not taking it. And she said, I'm going to talk Todd into it. She, she, she said that. Oh, I said, oh, okay. No, Cause no. I said, cause I'm not doing it. No. Gwen says giant candy. Oh yeah. I remember giant candy canes. Yeah, so I hope I slip that one right by everybody, and they're like, "What did he just say?" So I'm not gonna. <laughs> what did he just? What did he just say? I just slipped that one right by you guys. <laughs> and went went right on a giant candy cane. I don't need. It. See, look, I'm getting all flushed again. Yeah. See, um, girls would use baby oil and lemon juice in there. Yeah, my sister used lemon juice as well. Uh, hey, Shelly, Shelly's joining in. Shelly, who's Shelly? Shelly who? Shelly that has a grandbaby that she shows lots of pictures of. Shelly Culver? Yeah, Shelly oh, Culver. Culver. Yeah. If you guys want to follow somebody on Facebook <laughs> that updates a lot, Dave, Dave and Shelly. <laughs> Dave and Shelly. It's neck and neck of which one of those two post mowers that we follow, that we, we, we're friends with. Yeah. You uh, can always pretty... count on a new post every hour with one of those two. Uh, by the way, Dave, where are you getting all those pictures at? I know, I know you're not taking all those pictures. Because they're like palm trees. And stuff. Oh, yeah. No, you can tell um, some of them are... Yeah. I would yeah. guess he's just getting them off the internet, but... Yeah, um, yeah and, and, and I messaged, I commented on one of your posts a while ago, Dave. Crisco. Chris, no, no, on your body? Yeah, some girls no, did. that's ridiculous. Susan says, yeah. You got to save that for cooking. Um, who's the blonde in the background, Dave? Mm -hmm. Inquiring minds want to know. Mm -hmm. Is she single? She's single. Uh, what else? What else has been going on 70s-wise? Uh, I'm trying to think of if I've seen... Oh, I, oh we, I, lost, we lost a monkey. Oh, Michael Nesmith. Oh, what a bummer. Yeah. He, um, he was only 78 or so? Yeah, we're down to one monkey. <laughs> I mean... I should laugh. 
<laughs> well, saying it like that is a little silly. Does Todd have a mic? If so, turn it up. Yeah, he does. Unfortunately, his is a lapel, and it's not. Yeah. Can yeah. you? We're trying new stuff. We're tr Yeah, this was a test, and I knew his was going to be a little quieter when I listened through the. I'll try to. I'll well, try to should, move mine we down. And... Ugly Christmas sweaters. Well, I did wear my green Enid T-shirt with my red shirt, and this is actually a Kurt shirt. Some of you may not know this, but uh, Curtis has a lot of shirts and clothes. And because I buy a lot of stuff on sale at Dillard's, or I used to. And then if it gets a little bitty tiny fray, oh no, he's like, can't wear it no more. Oh so, no! So he accumulates them, and then like every couple of years, uh, he's like, here, gives me like bags of stuff. Now, in all fairness, I, that's coming to an end because he keeps getting smaller, and I keep getting bigger, so it's getting tough. So. Uh, a lot of my clothes I wear are hand me down Curtis stuff, but I don't, I don't care. I mean, it's no, that, stuff. It wasn't stuff. It was, I mean, I've got shirts uh, I've been wearing for like 10 years and they're barely, I mean, there's, so I, after like 10 years, I'm like, you know, I haven't worn that in three years. So I'm like, so I just gather them all up and I oh, yeah. send them yeah. your way. Hey, Satan's, Satan's tuning in. Hello. Yeah, sorry. You know, Dave, I wish you would have said that sooner. That would have been a good... Because I was trying to think of what to wear tonight, and uh, yeah. I was, was going to wear my Santa hat, but I can't find it. Ugly sweaters would have been good. It's too warm around here to wear sweaters. It is, it is pretty warm yeah, today in, in Enid. Yeah. 70-something yeah, degrees. Yeah. Uh, the quiet monkey. The quiet monkey? He was kind of the quiet monkey. Mickey? Yeah. No, not Mickey. Uh, Michael. Mike Nesmith. Oh, yeah. Mike was... Yeah. He was, he was kind of like the real... Uh, musician, somebody posted. I had forgotten one of the songs that he did. Now I'm not going to remember what it was. Um, such an odd song that he did way after he was with the monkeys. Oh, he wrote songs for other people too. Yeah, but he had some weird, he had some strange music, solo music. Oh, he's probably different. So he was, he was actually a musician. And I guess Peter was a mu musician. musician. Well, David Jones was a singer. David was yeah. a singer. Now, Peter hung out with all those guys in that area in California. Um, oh, the Canyon? Yeah, the Laurel Canyon. Yeah. He was part of that crew back in the day. Staten says hi to Jason. Mickey Dolans, yes. So Mickey Dolans is the last monkey. Monkey, monkey on the bed, jumping, jumping, and hit your head. What was that? How did that go? Anyway. Nesmith. Oh, yeah. Around about way started MTV. Yeah, so... so um, was it Nickelodeon? Nickelodeon was cruising along, and Michael Nesmith did a music video and put it on a show on Nickelodeon or Nickelodeon Junior and, and gave it a name, and then some other media company bought it and turned that into MTV. So literally, as Al Gore invented the Internet, <laughs> Michael Nesmith invented MTV. I mean... Really, kind of, he did, kind of, sort of. Al Gore didn't invent the internet. He did? No. Whoosh. The internet's been around a long time. So, uh, yeah, so and what else did he... Oh, his mom invented liquid oh, paper. Oh, whiteout. whiteout. Or is it white... white it was whiteout. I think they called it liquid paper, they, yeah. They did back then, and they changed yeah. it to whiteout. Yeah, so he's... So he inherited... She died. He inherited money from her. She got gozillion dollars. And then that. he got money from something else. What was it? He sued somebody, or... Something. He didn't even need monkey money. No. He had whiteout money. Liquid paper money. So. Curtis, Michael Nesmith was in the Air Force and stationed in San Antonio for a while before going to California. I was born in San Antonio on an Air Force base. Wow. So you never know. He, he might have walked right by my room right after I was born. You never yeah, know. Yeah, Dave said he likes Mickey on vocals better than Davey, and I got to agree. Yeah, I love Mickey singing. He was always fun. He was the fun dude. He was the fun one. Yeah. And then Peter, he was kind of goofy. Yeah. For some reason, Peter was always my favorite monkey. Really? Although, I kind of remember a time in the 70s that I thought about wearing a knit cap, <laughs> cap like, like Mike. Mike, yeah. Yeah. But uh, living in Oklahoma where it's 100 degrees a lot, um, couldn't do it. I was watching a little video while we were at dinner a while ago about the monkeys and their, those, those shirts they used to wear and stuff. I wish we could get those. And the poofy sleeves. Remember the poofy sleeves? Oh, yeah. I wish we could find those. I'm doing good just to get my semi-bell bottoms. I can't show. Can you see them? Anyway. 
It's I'm stuff like, stuff's still coming back. I'm wearing my stretchy You, you never know. They'll get back. Is anybody out there um, wearing 70s clothes? Oh, she died two. She she sold the company for $50 million and then died two months later. And that was $50 million back then. I mean, that was $50 million. That was like a gazillion today. That would have been in like the, was it 70s? I think so. 70s. So it would be a, a whole lot. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Michael played with Zappa. Really? Very cool. See all the stuff you learn on air? Very it's, cool. It's like an education. Edumacation. And we're constant. I mean, we thought we knew. Okay, so four and a half years ago when we started this little podcast, we thought we knew quite a bit about the 70s because we just. You know, we knew we our memories yeah. of the 70s. And now we're actually be, kind of becoming. What's kind of funny is I've listened. Actors. Yeah, I've listened to a couple of old episodes, and it's kind of funny that. I can't remember what episode it was, but it was kind of like we didn't know a lot about whatever the subject was, and I'm like, "Wow, we know all that now." Oh yeah, it's kind of interesting. Yeah, so we're, um, so we're 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 getting better. Yeah, still waiting on somebody to call us and say we want you to be consultants on this gazillion dollar million dollar movie that Leonardo and uh, Tom Cruise are going to be in, and uh, you can be Leonardo's stunt double and I'll be Tom Cruise's okay. stunt double. Fun facts. Do you know what initials A and M Records? I I do, but I I mean I literally A&M. just saw it the other day. Um, A&M. Hang on, something in marketing, advertising. No, marketing. it's two guys' last names. Oh, um, Abercrombie and M- Mullen. Um, Apple. I just saw it the other day. Remind me, Who is Dave. It? Is that Dave? Yeah. Uh, you should read Sally Field's biography. She talks about in between shooting Flying Nun episodes, Parting with the Monkeys. Very cool. Oh, I love Flying Nun. I love Sally Field. Everybody loves Sally Field. Kurt, no. Uh, Kurt asked if Michael was the only real musician. Peter Peter was a pretty good musician, and Peter played banjo. Oh. Peter was a really good banjo player. Yeah. Um, I guess Mickey just picked up the drums. Probably. Yeah. And Suzanne wears them all the time. We don't know what it is, but she's wearing them all the time. A and M, A and M, A and M. Um, it was uh, help us out, guys. Two pretty famous guys in the music industry. A um, and M, um, Montague. I uh, just because Michael Nesmith died, I they were talking about A and M and who who the two guys were, and well, but I just now we gotta look it up. I did not commit it to memory, so. Um, Davey gave those maracas. <laughs> but he could sing, and he was cute, and he was. Like, he was on the Brady Bunch. Yeah, and he kissed Marsha. Did, did he kiss Marsha? Oh, I don't know. They went on a date or something, didn't he? Did, th- didn't he go on as himself? I think so. Yeah. And he was from across the pond, right? Yeah. He was Fern. Staten Petty John is the coolest name ever, says Kurt. <laughs> yeah. And I love the fact that he spelled Petty John correctly, almost. But he gave, he put a gap. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, you do capitalize the J. It's one word. Yeah. Yeah. That's been a it's been a thing for the Petty Johns. It's Petty John. And where's that name come from anyway? We've only known him for how long do you know where Petty John came from? Uh his dad. Marvin. <sighs> anyway. Like what? Ancestry is it? Albert and oh, Albert who? No, um, <laughs> well, that's I think Albert's a last name, not Eddie Albert. It's not Eddie Albert. <laughs> um, a, name a name you had to grow up with. Yeah, yeah. It was a little weird when this kid moved to Enid, Oklahoma, in the sixth grade, named Staten, and every time I introduced him as my friend, they'd say, "Your friend's name is Satan." <laughs> I'd be like, no, Staten, Herb, Herb Albert. Herb Albert. And then who's the other? Who's M? Um, <laughs> bell bottom, silly, says Susan. Oh. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, yeah, girls are wearing girls bell bottoms bell like they're in style, which yeah. they are. Yeah. Well, they never went out of style. And I'm the only guy I know that wears them. Jure, hey, Jure. She checked in. Hey, you guys, uh, for you new people, don't forget we got new Shaggy Duck window. Uh, cool looking stickers. I will mail you one if you just leave your address in the comments. That was a sticker. Anyway. <laughs> you put it in your... Oh, you don't have a pocket. I put it in my hat. Oh. 
wonder where it went. It must have fell on the floor behind me. I'll find it. Oh, well. There okay. it is. I just, it's hard for me to reach down and get okay. it. Okay. Athena, Alathea agrees on Staten's Jerry name. Moss. Oh, yeah, you know, Jerry Moss. I have no idea who Jerry Moss is. I'm guessing he's a record producer or something. Right? I, that I don't know. Yeah. I, I remember Herb Albert, but yeah, the other one. See, we're still learning stuff about the 70s. Yeah, the problem is, <laughs> as old as we're getting, we don't remember what everything that we learned. So exactly why we're doing a podcast. So when we're like in our 90s, we can go back. This go, is like oh yeah, it's a time capsule. This podcast is the encyclopedia of the 70s. If you ever gonna need to know something about the 70s, like a book report you got coming up, <laughs> you come to what the you... 70s Buzz podcast and check out one of our episodes and do your book report. Okay, what would be the kids? Kids, the grandkids. When your grandkids need to do a book report. That's right. Uh, yeah. Well, so I guess some of your kids, too. Your kids could still do, be doing yeah, book reports. Yeah, they're doing book reports, I yeah. think. Not my kids. My I kids, don't know. No, they're out of there. Out of there. Out of there. Uh, girls look hot in bell-bottoms, not guys. Hey, Dave, I look hot in my bell-bottoms. Not only are they bell-bottoms, but they're stretchy bell-bottoms, which is a bonus. Yeah, I'm not into the stretchy pants. I, I didn't I, know they were stretchy. I know. I think I got a pair of 501. Who who would have thought 501s are coming in stretchy? And it, it, they're kind of stretchy. And I was like, oh, no, no, no. So I don't ever wear them. Um, they're don't too... Don't down to me because they ain't going to fit me. They're too weird. <laughs> are you back in 28s now? No. <laughs> no, I, they, I, just, I stay in my side. They just get baggy. <laughs> I mean, I, I, yeah, I've had to, I, there was a couple times. So if I go somewhere where I have to like, like go into a football game where I have to like move quickly, if I have change and keys and my phone in my pockets, yeah, I have to wear a belt because my, my jeans will fall down with all that stuff in my pocket. So <laughs> Todd looks good in front of Farah. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Farah is looking good. And so, and if you guys... Re have, so you guys can go to curtistucker.com. Everything that we're doing on everything will funnel into there. There is an article about when I unrolled that, not that one, but that one, um, Farrah Fawcett poster. What I, it was 1976. Mm -hmm. Um, so anyway, yeah. So, uh, fun, fun story about me and the, uh, Hey, your son check in, yeah, Justin. Hey, Justin. We'll see. Us. We'll see you here in Eden in a couple days. Yes, and Staten says, tell Alethea hi, thank you and hi. Well, you just did, so. But Alethea's not on, so Steve will have to tell her. Steve oh. Voss is on, that's his wife. Oh, you still did. Oh, I guess so, though Alethea's listening. So, hey, Alethea, I guess you're in the background listening. Yeah. Um, has Dave said hi to Steve? Steve, Dave, me, Dave, Steve. <laughs> Voss, Steve Voss. Yeah, and Dave Thorpe. Wow. Um, no stretchy Levi's. Yeah, no, no stretchy, no stretchy Levi's, no stretchy. Okay, you guys see, uh, if you're looking in the comments, there's a Justin Todd Wheeler. That's my son. That's my number three child. He just had a birthday. Everybody wishing him happy birthday. Happy birthday! Oh, well, December's a busy birthday month. Uh, Bailey just had a birthday. Carlos is fixing to have a birthday. Mark Mankin's fixing to have a birthday. My wife's fixing to have a birthday. My wife's birthday. Oh, so have, have I told you guys this before? Okay, so my wife, her brother, <laughs> married a gal named Kaylin. Okay. Kaylin has, I think, four brother-in-laws. All of us have the same. We were all born on December 20th. Oh. Four, four brother-in-laws all born on December 20th. So there's me. So in our family, there's three. There's me, Dave, who married Sally Evans. And Joe, who is Denise's brother, we're all December 20th. And then Kaylin's sister married a guy, Chris, who is the father of Miss Oklahoma and almost won Miss America. Um, he was born on December 20th. So, oh. yeah. So anyway, so uh, wish me a happy birthday on December 20th. Oh, Kurt's, birth Kurt's wife's birthday tomorrow again. Oh, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Candy. 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 Yeah. Happy birthday. Very cool. The big five -o. And don't forget, we, we forget to remind people. What's that? You guys can email us or text us, and we'll do birthday shout-outs to you oh, guys. Absolutely. Or, or your friends absolutely. right here on the episode. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. so happy. Wow, that's a big one. 50th candy. Holy moly. Yeah. 
Curses I'm about, I'm a year from I'll be a year from 70, 60 on Monday. Holy moly. 70? Where does the Curtis family eat at Christmas time when no one cooks? Well, Dave. <laughs> so we had started this tradition. Uh, so basically, I don't want to get too deep into it. So let me just go straight to we for the past several years, we would pack up as a family, my wife and I and the kids and go to Oklahoma City and stay at the um, Skirvin. And we'd eat the, we, we would eat Christmas dinner at the Skirvin. There's a haunted hotel. The haunted hotel down in downtown Oklahoma City. This, but the la last year and this year, the girls are like, we don't want to travel. They like to stay home and play with their toys. And I say, what toys? And they say, we just want to stay home. So, you know, uh, one Christmas years ago, we stayed home and Cheney, the youngest daughter, cooked spaghetti. So I have a feeling we'll end up doing something like that. So I will, anyway, this year we will be at home, uh, probably just the four of us, unless Todd comes over. Guess what, Dave? If I don't wind up, because I'm doing my Christmas this coming weekend with all my family, if I don't have plans for Christmas, I may actually come here and eat here at the Tucker house. I'm not cooking, but Cheney might cook. Thank God. Cheney yeah. Cooking. I, I should probably go see my uncle, though. Yeah, so... Yeah, and without getting into a lot of detail, yeah, so uh, I don't eat. <laughs> we stopped having Christmas dinner with my side of the family a while back. <laughs> Too much conflict. So anyway, and then unfortunately, Denise's side uh, has passed away, but we do Thanksgiving with them, and so we don't do Christmas with them. So anyway, my little sister's birthday is the 21st. Oh, wow, a lot of December birthdays. June's big, too. Philip Young. I guess, Philip, you saw my wife and daughter at the Flamingo. And by the way, Philip, you are not related to Kurt Young. Well, we don't know that. We assume. That's what I thought. We That's assume. What I, asked. I didn't think that. I thought that. And Kurt said no. And I'm like, okay. Well, not that I know of. I mean, I would think I would know if they were related, but... How come Kurt Young's not watching, by the way? Uh, he's probably just... I don't know. Huh. He's a little younger. I don't know how much younger. Well, yeah, but he can still watch. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So anyway, yeah. Shout out to Dave's little sister's birthday. She'll be 21. Ooh, ooh, she's going to ooh, bar. Ooh, 21. Now. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, ooh. Are you going to you taking her bar hopping, Dave? I don't think Dave drinks. No relation. Yeah, we didn't think so. We didn't think it so. Just, it just came up in the conversation. Because Kurt Young and Philip Young were both at the Flamingo, and then my wife and my daughter were having an argument over which Young they saw first, <laughs> and I was like, okay, I'm out of here. So, By the way, Flamingo is a little burger bar joint, not the uh, casino. Yeah, no. The Flamingo is a burger beer bar that's been open for over 70 years. Yeah, it's a, it's a really cool old place. One of the, one of the coolest... Coolest, oldest place. It is a relic. Yeah. And you know my wife's dentist boss. owns Your wife's boss. part owner. Yeah. Her boss. Well, dentist. They don't call them bosses. They call them dentist. Oh. They that? actually call it, No, it's her. They, her. And they, they actually call him doctor. Oh. Doctor. So it's his wife that she works for? No. She, the wife is the dentist. Oh. Yeah. The husband... He's, he's, uh, right. Shad is, uh, oh, look, now, speaking of my wife, she just checked in. Hi, wife. She's got a birthday coming up December 16th. You guys can wish her a happy birthday. Happy birthday, Denise. Taco Tuesday now. Yeah, so Philip, there's Denise. Denise, there's Philip. Just saw each other at the Flamingo. Do you guys have tacos? Tacos at Flamingo? Yeah. Oh, dude. Yeah, they've expanded their menu <laughs> yeah. big time. But yeah, they do have Taco Tuesday at Flamingo. Cool. Yeah. And had you asked me, I would have told you that's where they were going to eat. Because oh. those two seem to always want to eat the Flamingo now. Piper and Denise? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, they don't eat with us. Oh, Piper can't go. Piper can't. Uh, who was it that just... Um, oh, Caden, her boyfriend. He turned 21 and he got to go eat at Callahan, Callahan's yeah. with his his parents. Uh, so. We can sneak her in. Yeah. I'm sure she's... Does she not have a fake ID? If she does, she don't, won't admit it. So I, we don't know, but... Yeah, well, my kids did, and they just... Yeah, anyway. Yeah. They so. don't need it now. She had nachos. She had nachos. Na nachos. My nachos, anyway. 
That's nacho cheese. Uh, okay, what else are we, are we forgetting? Something? Uh, what other 70s things have come up? I'm trying to think of what other Christmas specials we got coming up. We do Chinese food on Christmas Eve, a holiday. Oh, that's a good idea. Have you guys watched it? Now, A Christmas Story, um, that did not come out in the 70s, and it's not about the 70s, but uh, that's a popular Christmas show. I haven't watched that this year yet. Christmas Story? Yeah. About Christmas the little boy going to shoot his eye out. Oh. Yeah. Oh, another show that I just watched, um, Sandlot was on the other day, and I watched it. <laughs> kind of cool. It kind of reminded me of my old... Uh... Okay, the chubby guy on Sandlot, uh -huh. kid, he's all over TikTok. Oh, he is? Yeah. And, oh, speaking of TikTok, did I do this already? I, no, I don't think so, no. Okay, so if any of y'all, 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 yeah, I can tell my, if any of you guys are on TikTok, um, come follow me or, or Curtis or both of us. So if we can get, a, if, if one of us can get a thousand followers, we can go live on TikTok and we can do live TikTok the same time we're doing live Facebook. And that'll be fun, I guess. I don't know, but I, I, I need like a lot more. So, everybody go, everybody go to TikTok, and it's, what's my thing? Todd Wheeler, no, Toddzilla, 1963, I think is my thingy. Yeah, and I'm going to start a Shaggy Duck one, so it's not started yet. So, there was something that I found a whole ton of information on the other day I was going to tell you guys about. Now I cannot remember. I don't know. Oh, it was super, like, like wow, I didn't know that. What there's, was that? There's mine right there, and you can pause it if you need to. It says, it's... Toddzilla 1963 on TikTok. Go, go, go now. So my wife says Cheney cooks. We we've already we talked about that before you got on. The question is, is Cheney making spaghetti for Christmas this year? Um, God, what was that? That ah, oh, there was something that was just. I was like, I didn't know that, and I thought everybody on our show would think that was so cool. And I know I'll remember as soon as we turn go off the air. And then I'll write it down and remember it. God, what was that? There was something. Anyway, okay. So. Or steak. Hey. Hey. Talk about oh, having steak. Steak. Could have steak. Sorry, Uncle Gene. <laughs> That's not nice. Did she say something about steak? I'm not seeing. Your wife did. Oh, she did? I must have. Yeah. Oh, there it is. It just. Yeah. Or steak. Or steak. Or steak. Cheney cook steaks? You guys even have a grill? You got a grill. It's Jim's. Well, and ours, but I I tried to sell it to Caden, and he didn't take it, so. Anyway. May just throw it away. So, uh, anyway. It's because you're almost 59. Um, That's why you get steak. When you turn 59, you get steak. Yeah. How are we doing on time? Are we oh, are we over budget? Way over our budget? It's, it's a little over an hour, so. Yeah. Okay. So, reminder, real quick. Uh, Merry Christmas. This is your gift. Uh, leave your address. In the comments, I will mail you a Shaggy Duck uh, window sticker. And uh, again, I'm consolidating consolidating everything, so there will be lots more updates for everything. Oh, oh your daughter's on now. Hi, Tana. Hey, Tana. Tana. Will be here in a few days. Uh, she Lord says Lord. we do a big breakfast for dinner on Christmas. That's a good idea. Yeah, they do pizza for Thanksgiving. Uh, Lost in Paradise with Nick Cage, Dana Carvey, and John. I have not seen Lost in Paradise. I don't think. <laughs> Well, uh, Sharon Simrad says I'm that's glad. Sharon. It's Sharon. That's Lee, Lee and Sharon, but oh. it's just Sharon. Oh, I'm I'm, glad I'm not the only one who writes everything down. Now Rodney, Rodney, and then Rodney is going to be doing the food that we're eating at my house this weekend. And Justin, hey Justin, Justin Blazer is our craft beer guy here in Enid, Oklahoma. If you guys, when you guys come to Enid to see the 141 foot Ish. Christmas tree. Go have a beer at Enid Brewing Company, yeah. which is literally a block away. Yeah, Caddy, so Caddy Wampus. Go see Justin there. Hey, we just did a plug for somebody. Caddy Wampus. So, yeah. Yeah. You'll be getting an invoice. Yeah. So, <laughs> anyway, again, uh, Merry Christmas. Don't be afraid to come to Enid. We've got ice skating. We've got uh, all kinds of Christmas stuff going on, Christmas lights. Check out the big, huge tree. You can go to Rodney's Restaurant, Cherokee Ranch Land and Cattle Company, which is over there. Which so is there's the close brewery, to the breweries over there, the Rodney's places over there, and uh, yeah, I, we highly recommend both places. Yeah, it's all right there in downtown Enid, Oklahoma. You're getting a bunch of phone. You're getting a bunch of addresses. You, he's gonna have to go through all this. Yeah, keep keep the address. Here's one more time, and then once we have your addresses, we'll uh, that's when we'll let you guys know when we have T-shirts and 
yeah. all that stuff. And then we'll do random drawings where you can kind of keep them in your database or whatever. I'll keep them in my database, my uh, my uh, my uh, uh, Mailchimp account. Okay. You don't oh wow, to... now they're flooding in, yeah. <laughs> Let's see, next week do an episode about 70s rock band, Christmas songs, if you haven't already. We've done Christmas songs, but I don't know that we've done rock, rock band, band Christmas songs. Really? Merry Christmas, Susan. Yeah, so this is our last, this is our last live of the year. It's wow. Almost, it's almost next year already. It's almost next year already. Just, and I don't want to, I'm not going to jinx anything. I'm not going on wood, but you guys know me in the number two. Next year, every day is 20 22, 20, every. 22, every stinking day next year. So it's going to be a great year. It'll be 365 of them. So, yeah. So Dave says, uh, funny, how come I haven't heard of that movie? Tubi has a lot of 70s programs for free. Oh, oh really? Cool. Yeah. And so, to, well, Six million man? the $6 million man is on, what I say that one was? Um, anyway, I, I stopped watching it. It got too bad. It got... <laughs> I think the last one I watched had uh, William Shatner on it. Um, yep. So anyway, keep the addresses coming. Don't forget. And then even if you're watching this and it's not live, if you'll go ahead and put your address in there and I see it, I will send you a... These are really cool. These are heavy duty and they've kind of got the... Uh, it's a Mary. sticker sticker mule. And so these are kind of a... Uh, it's kind of like a reflective look yeah. to it. That's not exactly what the logo, but... It makes the sticker look reflective. So, and um, if you're listening on the podcast, not watching this live, oh can... yeah, uh, email me your address to buzz at buzzheadmedia.com. I will send you out a free sticker, and uh, we'll get that to you guys. That'll be your Christmas presents. And uh, again, we appreciate you guys checking in. Everybody have a merry, merry Christmas. Merry I don't even want to get off. Uh, we got to. We don't have to. I know, but there's no. No but the people, but the people listening on the podcast are probably like, yeah, okay, yeah, Why? well, because it's there's no subject. It's just kind of no. They, they don't. They listen to us. They don't care about. Well, I know, but all we're doing is talking to the people on. The, yeah, it's not like we're. I guarantee they. Okay, you guys that are just listening, you love listening to us talk about our friends if we're not doing a topic, right? Well, I know, but we're more reading off. Of, I guess what I'm saying is we're reading off of a screen where, that they can't see. I guarantee they don't care. I we, guess we we could we could end the well. So we will end the podcast, but now and we can just keep going live on as long as you you can, you, you can get the podcast off here. Okay, podcast done. No, we're gonna get out of here. See you. But we're still Facebook Live. But we're still Facebook Live. And I might even leave this on. Just depends. The power of the magic of editing. Editing is, is a wonderful thing. Yeah, Kurt says keep it going. Uh, Dave says unbelievable how fast. Yeah, yeah. I, I swear to God, it was like June the other day. Just the other day. I mean, I thought October was fast. November was like that. December. It's already the middle of December. Yeah. Today's the 15th. No, 14th. 14th, 14th, but it might as well be the 15th. Today's 15th? 14th. Is it? There's yeah. something, December 15th. There's something. Was that the day I got married to number one? Maybe so. I think it was. Oh. I think it's like, we'd have been married 42 years. No. <laughs> Sorry. Kurt was 10 I, years old yesteryear. I just threw up in my mouth a little bit. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Sorry, Diana. <laughs> yeah, no, this year has gone fast. I kind of remember thinking, how are we going to get all this football squeezed in? And it's done. It's over. Um, Kurt's 50. Well, yeah, so Monday I turned 59, and I have one year till six. Think of that. One year until 60 years old. Wait, we're going to have to put him down. Think of, uh, <laughs> so, so think back to the 70s. Yeah. Oh. And the people that you knew <laughs> in the 70s that were 60... Think how old you oh. thought people were at 60 years old in the 70s. I remember when the Rolling Stones turned 40, and I was like, oh, they're done. 40, they're done. They'll never play anymore. They'll, they're, those guys are way too old. What's weird is there was people and teachers that we knew in the 70s that were 60 that we thought were old, and they're just now dying. And I'm like... They're, they're still alive? I'm like, I thought they were old in the 70s, and they are still alive today? I ran into Rick Hawkmeyer the other day.
<laughs> Rick's not. I remember when Rick was his first year at Enid High teaching chemistry. So, so we were like, he had to be like 23 or 24. Yeah. Because he's not much older than us. No. Yeah, he was. And he was going into the gym when I saw him. Yeah. I was coming out of the restaurant. <laughs> yeah. He, he, he still plays tennis. He stays real active. Yeah. Um, Lost in Paradise. You know, Lost in Paradise. Okay, so let's settle this real quick for all of us, all the 70s people out there. Is Die Hard a Christmas movie or not? Yes, it's a Christmas music movie. Yes. Basically, if it's got any Christmas music in it, it's a Christmas movie. So I was going to do a, uh, a blog post about whether... So I was going to come up with like six to eight criteria that most Christmas movies have in them yeah but not not every you know not every movie is going to have but but uh, to be a christmas movie uh, you had to have like maybe four of the eight or five of the eight and then you could put any movie up against this thing and then then you could distinguish whether it was because so one of them is does it have a christmas tree in it does it have santa claus in it yes and so, but there are, there are some movies that are like maybe a complete western and there might have been a christmas tree but just because it had a Christmas tree didn't make it a Christmas movie. But if you had like four or five of these things that make it a Christmas movie, then that... And so I was thinking about Die Hard. So it had a Christmas party. Had a Christmas party, had a Christmas tree. Had Christmas, had Christmas music, presents. Music. Had Christmas presents. Yeah, so... It's definitely a Christmas movie. Because I was trying to, trying, to, trying to not make Die Hard a Christmas movie. And all of the criteria that I was coming up with, it, it was getting into at least half of all of the... Uh, yeah, so anyway, but uh, Sharon says no, 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 no. So Kurt a, says no. Kurt, no, come on. Now, I know Christopher Todd highly believes it is a Christmas movie. Yeah. He's not on, but uh, 60 is the new 40. I know, Sharon. I know. I hope so. Um, Philip says yes. It is a Christmas movie. Yes, it is. Cause it, so, and, it, and it comes out around. It came out at Christmas time. What about Gremlins? Yeah. And again, it came out at Christmas time. Yeah, and it's got a Christmas tree and snow and a present and yeah. Christmas music and yeah. It may not be the traditional Christmas movie like uh, White Christmas, uh, you know. Kurt says Rocky Four. He fights the Russian Drago Dragoo uh, on Christmas Day. Is that no? Because so no Christmas music. I was gonna say, are there? <coughs> I'll have to do my blog post. And then, and then you'll, uh, yeah, there's got to be more than one, cri it's got to have, it's got to meet more than one criteria to yeah. be a Christmas there's movie. No Christmas, I don't remember Christmas tree and I don't remember any Christmas music. Maybe, I don't know. See, and I have, I've got it written down somewhere. So does it have an elf or a reindeer in it? <laughs> Christmas tree, Christmas song, uh, Santa Claus, snow, a Christmas present. Did it, does it happen on Christmas Day? That was one of them, but it's got to meet more than one criteria. So um. Dave says, I remember when the busing tables in high school and the dishwasher was in his 40s. We thought he was the <laughs> oldest guy in the world. <laughs> Is he still alive? I bet he's still alive. Well, no. Yeah, no, no. Depends on how well you take care of yourself. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyway, what else? I don't know if we're going to include this on the actual podcast or not, but uh, Lance. Lance. Lance, your buddy Lance. Lance Junkie? Lan Lance Junkie just chimed in. Dude, we're, we're, we, we've been on here over an hour. Where are you De at, Denise buddy? says Gremlins is a Christmas movie, I guess. Yes, it Yippee is. Yippee-ki-yay, yeah. mother. <laughs> Dave, such language. Yes, Dave. Kristen, Kristen Nunley's chicken in. Did he ever answer in. my question? What was your question? About who's the hot chick in the background of the picture with the white Christmas tree? Oh, hey Dave, Dave who who's in the picture in the mirror reflection with the white Christmas tree? And, and I'm, of course, she, I'm sure she's hot. I'm, I just assume she's hot because if that's my default, whenever I see a female, I guess Todd wants to know: Is that your girlfriend, or can he date her? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's too far away. So he needs he needs an answer. <laughs> Kristen Campbell Nunley. Howdy. I always thought the movie had to be Christmas themed. No. Mm. Sharon, I, I I kind of agree with you, but some of those movies that aren't themed do fit into the Christmas category. So. I wonder what Alexa would say, which is which. I don't know. Hmm. I asked her, not to get off topic a little bit, but I asked her a question earlier today, just before I came out here. Are there 
because we were talking, I was thinking about the whole uh, that website we we're talking about maybe using to interact that we didn't mention, uh-huh. and they only they, it could only be on iPhones, and I was like, according to Alexa, there's actually in the United States there's actually more Android users than iPhone users, which I was kind of surprised. Hmm. Surprised, but anyway. Yeah. I'm a white phone, so I just brought that up. There's Bert. Bert checked in. Bert, you're late to the show. Gosh, guys, what are you? Why? Why? You know, 715 Central Mountain Time. Dave is not answering your question. He is avoiding it. He is doing everything but answering your question what? of who is in the darn picture. <laughs> Come on, Dave. Come on, Dave. Who's in the picture with you? Every, be, everybody saying, ask Dave, who's in the picture with you? Come I'm on. Gonna, I'm going to say it's his sister. I'm, that's who I'm, I'm thinking. Yeah, it's his sister. It's sister. And, and I, I want to, uh, yeah. Tell her I said hi, Dave. And I tell her I said Merry Christmas, Dave. <laughs> what y'all's, uh, what's your favorite Christmas song? Ask, hey, Lance, I'm going to ask you. Is uh, 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 Die Hard a Christmas mu- movie or not? I think he missed it. I think he got in after that. Yeah, I'm trying to think of some other, like, you know, have you noticed that they play um, Wizard of Oz around Christmas? It's not a Christmas movie, but for some reason. Yeah. And then, like. Um, it's definitely not a Christmas movie. Um, 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 it's a Wonderful Life. Now, now there, is a, there is a Christmas tree at the end. Wonderful Life? Yeah. Oh, that's definitely Christmas. Well, but, it, I mean, eh, I mean. Not until the end when there's a Christmas tree and they do sing a song, but yeah. is there a Santa Claus? Is there, uh, I guess it does happen on, does it, is it on Christmas at the end of the movie? Christmas Eve, yes, I believe it is. Yeah, so anyway, Funny That's, Farm is a good one. Funny Farm is, uh, is that a Christmas movie? Kurt says, who's in the picture, Dave? <laughs> Close guys, laughing out loud. Somebody That's my niece's best, best friend. friend. Uh, oh. uh, well, Bert says, definitely, die hard, def- absolutely. And when I refer to Bert, it's Branch. Branch. Branch Lynch. Brent Lynch. I can't call him Brent. Isn't that weird? I can't either. There's a funny story behind that. We'll go into that later. Yeah, you were supposed to come out Saturday night, dude. Where were you? You missed the big wingding. Uh, yeah. Well, now we know who the girl is. It's your niece's friend. So the question is, how old is she? <laughs> how old is your niece? And how old is her friend? Todd wants to know. No, Dave, we don't. I was just teasing. Yeah. Could be. Well, yeah, it absolutely is. Oh, heartburn. I got heartburn. Lance says could be, yeah. Yeah. Could be, I guess. It depends on your definition of, uh, I guess everybody has their own definition, but I think we need to, we should come up with the 70s Buzz official scale of whether a movie is a Christmas movie or not. Yeah. It could, it could go viral. It could be... We Who probably, knows? We probably should have done that. It could six, be. Six it could be. Ago. It could be the scale. We'll, we'll we'll prepare for next year. Okay, we'll do that next year. We'll get the yeah the end all do all be all definitive. Yeah. Is this a Christmas? And several movie? several of you have just checked in. If you guys want a Shaggy Duck metallic y looking really cool window sticker, just put your address in the comments, and your Christmas present will be on its way. And for, for one lucky person, maybe we'll throw something extra in. I don't know. You know, uh, it's kind of like Christmas songs. Like the, uh, the one is actually a Thanksgiving song. Going through the, over the river and through the Oh, woods. yeah. To the Grandma's woods. house. That's actually a Thanksgiving song. Yeah. And were we not talking the other day that would they need to come out with new Christmas music? Uh, somewhere, yeah. But now they, they yeah, they but have they have. Recently, yeah, they even yeah. I mean, there are some, there are a few fairly new Christmas songs. Yeah, with the, uh, the cute blonde and the guy down south. Yeah, yeah. That's a good you Christmas song. About. And Mike Rowe's got a new Christmas music song out. Oh, he does? Yeah. yeah. I haven't heard it, but I'm sure it's good. In her 30s, Todd, and she has a daughter. I was just kidding, Dave. I, I'm just kidding. And she's British. <laughs> Todd says, pause. Hmm. Hmm. I got a thing for... for oh, here... I got to show you my new decoration. Oh. This is this is my one and only. I saw that. Other than my Charlie Brown Christmas tree, here's my here's my new Christmas decoration for the year. It's kind of like a Grinch boot. I need to put tree. I need to put a flower or something in there. Something but, that's dying in there. Yeah. Oh, so uh, I go down to the Broadway Exchange the other day. Uh huh. Did I tell you? No. Okay, so apparently on Saturdays between this time and this time, 
they have the Grinch there. The, oh, yeah, because I've been advertising it for them. That yeah. Little, that little, what do you call that, vestibule? Uh huh. There. I walked in there and he was sitting there, scared the shit out of He's him. He's a little scary looking. Holy crap. It's they, they have taken pictures of kids in terror and they, they think that that's like the new thing. So, so when we were kids, there were some pretty funky Santa Clauses. Uh -huh. Nowadays it's people are getting pictures of their kids with scary looking Grinches just so they can get the kids screaming in terror. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yes. I have some friends. On it's Facebook. a, it's a new thing. It's like a new thing. <laughs> poinsettia. Yeah. I need to put a poinsettia in there. And you know, those are not poisonous. Lance wants one here. Here's yours, Lance. Todd will get it to you. I thought he wanted the boot. I think he wants a sticker. <laughs> oh, it's hot in here. Well, it's you know, hot. Yeah. Uh, it's only 79. I keep my house like 65. Well, this thing's kind of weird. It doesn't, I, it doesn't like, I don't know. It's kind of hard to describe. Yeah. Some air. Some air. Oh, here we go. I'll just, I do have a window now. Uh, there we go. Yeah. It'll cool off. Okay. You guys are making Todd hot talking about chicks and well, stuff. I got, okay, he, he has shorts on. Oh, Bert is, wants one. Okay, Bert. I got Man. long jeans and two shirts. Okay, here's Bert's. Give that to Bert. Bert and Lance. Uh, okay. I saw okay. Santa taking a break smoking a Marlboro. <laughs> hey, Will. Will's checking in. You're a little late, too, Will. Where you been? Kind of like Bad Santa. That's a funny movie. You know, I have not watched that whole that whole movie. Uh, and then I haven't seen the second. There's like Bad Santa Two or something. Oh, really? I haven't seen that one either. What have I? I'm trying to think. What? Why movie? is it so high here? It's like seventy something degrees. Yeah, Oklahoma. Uh, we're close to record. Tomorrow's going to be pretty warm, and tomorrow's going to be really windy. So, um, just yeah, just record heat here in Oklahoma. What's just, it like up northwest, guys? I have no idea. Usually, Dave's griping about the. Or yeah, informing us. I won't say griping. Yeah, we we're we're in severe uh, fire uh, hazard tomorrow. Yeah, so don't be putting your cigarettes out. In the, yeah. Mistletoe is poisonous, a fungus. Yes, it is. But yeah. uh, apparently, points out aren't. I always thought they were. Oh really? I. Hmm. We got one in there. If you want to go bite off a little bit. I'm full. I had a big dinner at Callahan's. Okay. Uh, did, did, did. God, I wish I could think of what that I saw the other day. Was it? I was looking for characters in movies. Was it Warriors? Warriors go about to play. Uh, I'm gonna re I'll remember it, but anyway. You can't say Warriors without me wanting to do that. Yeah. Clink, 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 clink. You guys are funny. I don't like being hot. Yeah. No, I, I don't like being cold, so I I would rather sit here and sweat than uh, be cold. I'm not a cold weather guy. So, okay, guys, what else? Anything else before we get out of here? Any other? Yeah, it's just, it just basically is telling us somebody's watching. And I don't know why it repeats. Like it's saying Michelle is watching again, and Michelle is watching again. <laughs> How many times can you watch, Michelle? I don't know. Every I mean, I don't snow know. in the forecast, temperature in the teens. Yeah. Oh wow, really? Yeah. Oh, this time last year here it was snow. Uh, yeah, we had yeah. So that that's one thing about Facebook is, and I don't, I never look at memories on Facebook, but Shelly and other people, I think my wife does every now and then. They post posts from a year ago, and I've noticed some people posting that it was snowing. His wife just posted, she needs help with a rug. Will you guys come over and help my wife with a rug? <laughs> Move some furniture? Oh, I better get out of here. Some furniture? I gotta go. Todd's gotta go. Pew! Go. I probably need to go home and do some work on the house. Pew! Pew! I guess, yeah, we better get out of here. Okay, thank you guys. Love so, you. you guys, yeah, so this is uh, last live uh, for this year. Uh, so we're gonna wish you a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. And uh, no, no Christmas shopping even started yet, Dave. I'm That's, not doing any. Grandkids um, are getting money, and the kids are getting to see their dad. So there you go. Yeah. Bye, Brent. Bye, Kurt. Bye, Dave. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. See you guys later. See ya. See ya.